What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So today we're continuing on the brake install. This should be the very last day and very last few things to do. But basically the calipers, both front and rear, have been put in. We took a little break from it because I had to go on vacation. But uh, again with the help of Min, Manny, as well as Chase, uh, these guys help a bunch on this. Um, and then the rears, we also have the Evo 10 Brambles on it. So right now, I do have a car show coming up in the next few days. Car is still on jack, so hopefully we can drain oil, not oil, sorry. Fluids, put fluids, get the car running. Uh, and yeah, hopefully it doesn't take too long. And Chase just made it here. Oh yeah, it looks like nice. <laughs> All right, so right now, Manny is taking a look here. Uh, so what's the game plan? Are we gonna drain the fluids first? Oh yeah, we're gonna just load them up. <laughs> Okay, so pretty much the uh, stock, um, what do you call that, brake fluid lines, brake lines, uh, I think Manny already disconnected it, was it a 10 mil? Yeah, it was a 10 mil. 10 mil, and then comes off, and right now he's just draining it first, uh, before he disconnects everything, and like I said, uh, this does come with the stainless steel brake lines, that's the red color brake line you see right there, um, so yeah, he's gonna drain it, are we able to drain all four at once? Yeah, um, well, right now we're just uh, switching everything, that way you can get rid of the brakes. Okay. Just them up, tighten them up, and then after they are connected, then we're going to uh, get the, knock the, ble the bleeder screws loose. Uh-huh. Grab your bleed out, and then, uh, what's it called? And then we're going to pump it and just make sure all the air is out. Okay. Alright, so right now Manny's on the rear, so, let's see. So do, are you doing the same process here? Pretty much disconnecting it, letting it drip? Well, not letting it drip. We're going to do that later. Okay. Just trying to get rid of your old brakes, obviously. Just mm -hmm. You see how that's still connected to that caliber? Oh yeah, so now it's all still connected. That line to this line. What we let it bleed is from, from here. Once it's all connected, we open up these bleeders. Uh-huh. And then, uh, one at a time, pump it, pump the brakes. Hold it, and then pump, let it come out, close it, pump the brake a little bit more, open it, let it bleed out so you don't see any bubbles anymore. Okay, so earlier the stock caliper was connected still, I guess, or was it already yeah, off? The, yeah, the stock caliper still connected on this one. You see this line right here is coming to it. Now what I'm going oh, yeah. is this line comes to the That's new caliper, thing. so I'm just taking that one off and down there, connecting this here. Oh, okay. okay. All right, so Manny done the brake lines. So stock brake lines are off, you can see right there. And stainless steel brake lines are on for the front as well as the rear on the driver's side. So right now he's just working on the other side. And I think that should be the last, last brake line. And then I think we just have to, do we have to drain the fluids after that? We have to flush it. Flush it and then flush everything out. And then what? Uh, new brick fluid and a puppet? Yeah. Well, we have to like I mean a brick flush to like you know bleed it and all that stuff. So. Bleed the bricks. Okay. Right now they are bleeding the bricks, so all the brick lines are on. Min is sitting inside pumping the bricks, and Manny is making sure that there's uh, no more air. So you just take off that little nipple there, and then you put like a little tube in there. Hey, take off the take off the cap to the. I'm Pump it. So means it's like pumping bricks and Manny's over here. So you have pump to pretty, pretty much palm loosen, palm loosen. Yeah, you pump it and once it's on the ground, you hold it because it'll be like slightly stiff. Then you open it on and the then ground. see how it's on the ground now. Uh -huh. Nothing else comes out because there's not really anything else. Pump it again. So you have to restart the cycle a few times just to make sure that it's no yeah. air. You see, you don't see any bubbles coming up. Uh huh. So this chamber is good, but since it's a Brembo, you have, two, you have this one. And then you have another one over there. All right, just hold it for now. I mean, let it go for now. All right. So right now, inside, trying to pump the brakes. Let me know when to start. So many saying I have to pump it three times, hold, let it compress to the floor. We're trying to old make sure there's way. no air. The old school way. Old school way. What? What's the new school way? Uh, you don't a brake leader. Oh, uh, way quicker. Yeah. Floor. All the way, get it all the way to the floor. Back up. Floor back up. Hold. Hold. Alright. Let me know when it's on the floor. Yeah, it's on the floor. Three times? Yeah. 
pole okay on the floor yeah. so pumping brakes pretty much done um right now no, oh seat belt so we're trying to put back the sonic center console and all these stuff um to put all the interior pieces back together and ultimate test is uh lowering the car starting it because apparently there's this message right here i'm not sure what this means i've never seen it before but uh i'm guessing hopefully it's because of these harnesses pretty much done with the brake work i'm just gonna slap back the wheels together and loose tidy up some loose ends but the boys are all leaving right now chasing the genesis me and the super wx and Manny in the G6 so again big thank you to them for coming to help out like I said three nights Miguel as well who's not here tonight but big thank you to them once again alright so I'm gonna get to tidying up the rest of the stuff Slap on the wheels, uh, torque it, drop the car, torque it down, and should be good to go. So uh, I do want to test drive the car, but probably not tonight. I also do have to get alignment. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I have to squeeze that in. So yeah, just because we took off the spindle, alignment's a little off. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap the wheels on, lower the car, and then uh, bring the camera back up to show you guys how the big brakes look in its final form on the car lowered. All right, so my car is officially back on the floor. So again, here's a take a look at the big brake kit. The fronts, you can see the big brakes kind of peeping out the wheels. Here are the rears. So all in all, again, I want to give a big thank you to my buddies who came over to help. Couldn't have done it without their help. So Miguel, Min, Manny, and Chase. So uh, three separate days, these guys came over to my place to help me finish the whole big brake kit install. Um, I guess you could say if we had one full day it could have been done but because of time constraint uh, plus work you know we had to get it done at night in the evenings a couple hours each night so if you guys haven't watched the first two parts on installing big brick kit uh, I believe the first video was installing the front second one installing the rears and this is the third video which is pretty much um, bleeding the brakes um, you know and all that stuff and then putting back my interior parts together so just tidying up the loose ends on the big brick kit so if you guys stay to really end, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell so when you know new videos are out on the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.